Hey Virgos, welcome and welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here and showing all your love and support. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure that your post notifications are turned on so you know every single time that I post. Let's see what's going on. What might we need to know currently? Message for Berg. Okay, so it looks like you're getting the Eight of Swords just like the Leos, okay? If you're interested in a Leo reading, you'll find that on my other channel, okay? Um, the Eight of Swords tells me here that you're leaving something behind. Whatever it, whatever made, might have made you feel very stuck, um, restricted, limited to, or whether you were imprisoned by somebody, or somebody didn't want to let go, you'll be able to see there's a lot of uh, noise here. So somebody's trying to distract you from the growth spurt that you're coming into, okay? We have seven of wands. So somebody could be feeling defeated or not taking a stand or feels like they don't know how to. It's because your, your emotions, it's like you're trying to balance out your emotions to be able to do this. You, you recognize who you were versus who you are now, okay? And I feel like certain um, connections that you had to people that may have been um, looked at in a negative way, it's like you realize that that's not you. And a lot of it came into your life because of who you allowed yourself to be or what you thought was right or something like that. Air sign, water sign, fire sign could be significant. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay, tell me more about this Eight of Swords because this is like mimicking the same energy as Leo. Some of you could have had a past person that was Leo or had it in their chart. That's crazy how uh, y'all have the exact same card because I just did a read for them. Okay, there's a lot of um noise especially around this read okay so there's definitely a connection i dropped one of my oracle decks the box okay maybe i should get an akashic um oracle i'll do that in a minute but what i do see here is the ace of wands so there is blocks or delays somebody's trying to block you or delay you from um you know, not using your shadow side anymore, recognizing it and, and walking away from who you were versus who you are. There's some sort of spiritual alignment or I feel like I hear the word configuration. Something is being reconfigured or whatever this is and they don't like it. Remember we saw the Ace of Cups in reverse when I did the um, overall energy. Now it's in the upright. It's like everything is aligning for you when it comes to your emotions, the way you see things, how intuitive you are. And it's setting you apart from who you were before. You couldn't do that. There was limits on whatever you could do, how you thought, you know, the decisions you made. Now you're moving in a quicker energy. Whoever this is doing it to you is, is a... Um, Venus, somebody that you were attracted to that is an Aquarius. You need to let go of this motherfucker right here. Okay, because somebody be, be messing up the rotation of, of cycles here to put you back. Okay. First, it was the King of Pentacles in reverse. Now it's an Aquarius or somebody that got that in their chart. I don't know how people think that they could prosper trying to delay and block and stop others here. Okay, it's weird. Stop. What's this Ace of Wands? And then I'm going to, I'm telling you, somebody is trying to manipulate you out of you making the right decision for yourself by allowing you to still incorporate your shadow side. You being stuck and stagnant, trying to make you feel like whatever decision you're making, you should keep it at the back of your mind or keep it, keep it there but not let anybody know that that's what the struggle is, okay? Somebody knows that you have the willpower and the strength to do this, but they want you to be discouraged about it, okay? They want you to be in this five of cups energy. So somebody could be a Taurus or an air sign doing this here. 
as well. I'm going to pull the Akashic Tarot to get some insight. Message for Virgo. Give us a Akashic Tarot Oracle card. What's going on or what the collectives can gather from this. Okay, so we have views of the eagle. I'm seeing the number four. I see one twice. One, one, four could be significant. We have the king of roses also in reverse. So we'll see what, what's going on here. So first we'll start with four of roses. Okay, so your tolerance of a self-serving person's behavior has come to an end. You have realized that some lack in your own definition of self has attracted this person who is unable to give. You are ready to give to yourself. You are now more aware of your priorities and you're ready to take the action that honors you. No longer are you willing to be neglected or minimized. You, f you might falter a little bit, but be strong and take the steps to put this person behind you. During this time, whenever your ego causes you to feel like you're in a state of lack, say thank you for the reminder to turn to your eternal truth in that moment. Say to yourself, abundance is the condition of my life. Feel yourself feel feel yourself fill with the love and power that are inexhaustible. It is only when you treat yourself better than then that you declare the universe to the universe that you deserve better. I'm sorry, y'all. This is like a tongue twister. Okay, so we have the King of Roses. This is also in reverse, but this is your overall energy. I don't know why I'm hearing like male perspective. Okay, so this card's reversal shows as a potential disruption in a relationship with a male, whether it's a friend, family, or romance. Sparks may fly here, although this emotional upheaval may seem overwhelming. Don't let yourself get swept away. With every ending, there comes the potential for new beginnings. This may in fact be a reference to an old love that you haven't been able to release. If so, it's time to finally let go of the attachment and open your life to new and better things to come. When referring to you, this card could signify a time when your role as a father or husband is greatly diminished, whether due to desire or just logistics. If you have a deep pattern of self-negation, it's time to create a truly caring relationship with yourself. No matter what your patterns are, you do have the power to calm your heart look at things clearly and take control of your perception of yourself and your life. Your union with yourself is up to you. And that's just the God's honest truth. Okay. Whatever card comes out is literally telling you everything you need to know. Whatever has happened in the past or whoever you might've been connected to that wasn't in the, the most positive space, they're being released. Okay. For you to make the right decisions in your life. This is a life lesson, a karmic lesson. Okay, let's see here. We have boot. So you're pulling your boots up to make efforts that will bring you about some type of increase to achieve your goals. We have rooster. So there's an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. Whoever this person is, they could be showing off or allowing their ego and pride to show. We have scissors, disappointment in some affair. So somebody's disappointed in some affair with you um, resorting to building up some type of effort for an increase. Hmm. I don't know why they would. But anyway, let's see what's going on in love. What is it that we need to know for Virgo? Okay, so we have improving health. Somebody still needs to push forward with improving their health, but that doesn't mean that you aren't, you know, doing what you need to do or you need to make sure that you're still staying on top of it. On top of it, remain positive is at the bottom of the deck, power couple. So somebody here 
need to not give up at the fact that they can find their true love that will be in partnership with you to be a power couple trust. So um, it says here, the situation is calling for you to have faith when it comes to trusting that you will be able to take action, but to the right things or the right person that, that you attract. Okay. Let's see here. Let's get the other half of this Oracle deck. Okay, so overall it says religious factors. So somebody here that you align with religiously or spiritually, y'all will be in a connection. Okay, you're going to manifest somebody that you will involve marriage with within the next few weeks for some of you. Okay, because this is your soulmate. But this could be also be somebody from your past. Okay, but spirit is telling you to love yourself. Do not allow the um, amount of time you spent with somebody in the recent past to uh, steer you away from the person that is your real true soulmate. This is going to be the, the romance that you're looking for, for a lifetime. Let's see here. Whoever you're going to meet within the next few weeks or decide that you want to um, settle down with don't allow this person to block you from it. Okay. I feel like you're ready to open up or open your heart. Okay. So we have a lack of nourishment, self growth, self focus, or soul finding. Somebody here is distracted with their own self growth or nourishment. I feel like this is because you've been abandoned or somebody abandoned you. Or you abandoned them. Whatever this is here. Somebody abandoned um, being trustworthy, loyal, or reliable. Okay? It looks like you can't see that a person was bluffing. Or somebody wasn't bluffing here. Something was real. Whatever these mistakes were, they were real. Okay? Somebody really had no boundaries or didn't put up any. Which is why you chose to resolve this issue by um, hmm, keeping things like however you wanted to keep them. Somebody still wants to be closer connected to a person or have no strings attached, but still have access to somebody. But it's hopeless here. Somebody's going to be conflicted in the mind because it's hopeless to carry those type of energies. Let's see. All something brings is like chaos and messes with a uh, divine femme's energy. I heard um, guard or legal guardian. I'm not sure. Intimacy. Yeah, somebody definitely misses being intimate or wants this here. Somebody's realizing that intimately you just, you fit them like a glove or there's something about your your. <laughs> your lower extremities that makes them feel like, yo, I need it. I want it. I got to have it. Like, it's just that good. You know what I'm saying? We may be like toxic as fuck, but it's, it's perfect. It's the perfect fit. You know, when something just fits, like you, you bring a glow to somebody when they got you like that. This is somebody that's longing for you, but Archangel Michael is protecting you from this whole situation or that particular person. Let's see. This person nasty or you nasty. Somebody really get down. But that's, again, shadow side energy. It's like, you know, you know how that go. We have balance and memories of love. Somebody could be seeing 611 or 1106. Whatever may have taken place between you and a person while you were dating them, I feel like you're trying to create new memories by, you know, allowing the, the old patterns or memories to fade away so that you can balance yourself out again. I feel like you're very um, impatient when it comes to this, this firm foundation in reverse that you're trying to make in the upright, but you're going to move in a positive direction because you have sp spiritual strength here. Yeah, there's victory and success in the way that you're moving. 
and the decisions that you make. Somebody could be born November 6th or June 11th. Let's see. Let's draw some Kipper for Virgo. Okay, so there's something about a child here, number 18. Okay. Thief is in reverse, and we have gifts. Something is going to be um, given back to, to someone or whatever this is. This is not clear to me. Marriage. Okay, let's see what this child card is about. Can you tell me more for Virgo when it comes to this child card? What is this child card about? I'm telling you, false person in reverse, and we have short illness. Okay. So it looks like the credibility of a child or what a child might have done or said. Somebody, somebody's child may not be lying about being about a, a, a parent or a babysitter or whoever this is, whoever this feminine energy represents. Somebody could have a long-term illness or whoever this is that could possibly be pregnant. Um, there's some sort of official situation, house and good lady. Tell me more about this house and good lady. I don't know what this is about. Somebody, I don't know if this is fertility issues or somebody has an underlining illness that carries over to a child or what some a child could inherit. We have grief and adversity in reverse. So somebody overcame obstacles when it came to their root chakra, a firm foundation, restoration in, in a home or something like that. Somebody is on the right track, okay? And the delays are, somebody tried to make you go through some sort of dysfunction when it came to your household, the people that you live with or interact with, but the delays are being lifted, okay? There's somebody that you're consulting with that could go that that may let you down or something like that. Somebody didn't come through for you. Wh whatever this was to give you information or insight or to to um, get rid of some sort of problem because they're the specialist. It's like you're not going to argue with this person. You're just going to let them do what they got to do and get a get a second opinion or whatever this is. I feel like you're, you're still going to be happy with some type of result. Because you're, you're going to talk to other people about what you should do when it comes to this situation. You're still the main person anyways. Okay. We have the numbers 831 as well. So the number 8 is showing up twice. Somebody could be born 1988 or August 8th. There's going to be something coming out about um, money. Okay, what somebody did to stop or distract the person from this money. It could have something to do with a lighter skin tone female or somebody that is Caucasian. I feel like somebody here could have did some type of um, money magic or, or, you know, manifested something that was supposed to be for you and, and betrayed your trust. Okay, I feel like somebody did some sort of mind magic or, or something like that. Somebody mirrored something so that you wouldn't receive it and they would get what you were supposed to receive. Okay. That's what I'm picking up. Everything is going to come out. All right. All this, this is going to be revealed. And somebody is not who they say they are. Whoever this person is that's trying to date you is not who they say they are. They're going to have to return something. I feel like this is what this is all about too. Okay. Okay. Oh, 
what's the message? What is it that we need to know for Virgo? Okay, something about a false twin flame or somebody you had a karmic um, connection with. Somebody wants to come in the winter to have a rebirth, okay? Because somebody wants inner growth or feel whole and the only way they could do that is because they know you have some sort of like um, ability. I don't know. There's something about the way that you love or or something like that. Your love... I don't know. Somebody want to block you with love so that somebody want to use love to block you so that they can incorporate themselves in your life for, for greed. OK, you need to talk something through before somebody blocks you from realizing what they really want to do. Remember awakening. Remember your path and how far you got to be here in this moment. OK, because somebody doesn't have intention, good intentions for you here, whoever this person is. These love connections are, are not sincere. Whoever these person people are, look, cock blocking. They want what you want and they're willing to risk it. I know what I'm saying. And that I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even shuffle yet. That was in the middle of the deck. They know what they are doing. They're just trying to, you know, not show their hand. Somebody's not showing their hand here, man. Stirs the pot and exaggerates the truth. I'm telling you, these people are liars. They don't want to be with you. They, they see that something is coming in for you and they're trying to get close to you so that you would have problems moving on and saying goodbye. But that's exactly what you're going to do. But somebody won't be able to get over you no matter who they decide to be with. Yep. And they're going to resent you because if you learn what it is that they were trying to do, that they didn't get to attempt properly that <laughs> I'm telling you, somebody will get bad karma because they try too hard. That's the problem. They be trying too hard. Let's see. What's the message for Virgo? Okay, so we have self-worth. Somebody could be struggling with their own self-worth or working on it. Whoever this is, it's a divine masculine. This is somebody that may have betrayed you for another female or female for another male or whatever this is here. I feel like you may have ejected yourself or no longer have communication with the earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or there's an earth sign that may be um, in fear or holding something back. What is this fear or holding something back? Yeah, romance. Somebody's in fear of love. That's why Spirit was saying earlier, do not give up on who you feel could be your potential true love or somebody that is that could bring you that power couple energy because it's out there. Okay? Somebody want to apologize as well. Okay? Somebody may try to even plead their case with you or something like that. What's the message? Somebody's name has the letter R or starts with the letter R. Okay, we have protest, protest, inadequacy, sue, or attention. Somebody is calling attention to something. I don't know if this will be a legal matter, but somebody's trying to make this a person's worst nightmare because it looks like somebody stole something. Okay, somebody stole from a person that, you know, is a humanitarian or has the, the idealization to be one. Or, or this is a good person. Somebody stole from a person that is of um, like a higher spiritual place that does good things for people. And they're going to regret doing this. I told you, um, I did do a reading where um, the time is up for these people that go around and, and do this. Somebody that collaborated against you, it's like they won't be able to adjust to, to life again. Okay. They're going to have to work hard in order to do this. OK, something is going to stop for somebody because, you know, your spiritual team is working together with you for you to have justice here. Number 51. Somebody could be seeing one, one, one here. Anyway, I heard the word underground. Something here could be going on or or buried underground. Let's see. Okay, the truth is showing up.
okay the truth and silence spell somebody definitely tried to silence something you were supposed to know or somebody speaking out about their truth here okay we have karmic shows up wanting to converse with you tell that whole back up okay we have hands so it looks like there's a spiritual practitioner that may have tried to um read read something okay or put their hands in something somebody is not allowed to pull on your energy they're being blocked from doing this okay some somebody could be of a European descent or something like that. We have the letter Z as well here too. I'm also seeing gang stalking. Somebody is using people spiritually or try to do this by determining what's going on in your life, trying to use divination, but they're not allowed to do this. Somebody's trying to silence a person by gang stalking. Okay. I talked about this in another situation, another read a couple days ago. Okay. Hmm. Tell me more about this truth and silence spells. Somebody's trying to silence you, Virgo, but we're returning that back to sender. I also did a reading yesterday for the collectives and my throat chakra was very shaky going in and out. Somebody didn't want me to speak okay we have the five of pentacles the eight of wands in reverse yeah somebody's definitely trying to, to delay stagnate or or be hasty to cause chaos in somebody's life so that you will have hardships loss um um a low self-esteem or be left behind somebody is trying to cause you to be alienated face adversity, struggle, but your wishes are coming true. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what these people are doing because you will still persevere. Okay. Somebody definitely wants to like get next to you. Okay. This could be a Gemini or a fire sign or somebody that has those signs in their chart. Okay. Somebody definitely wants to rub on you, touch on you, hug you, kiss you, squeeze you, whatever. I don't know what this is, babe, what you doing to these people out here, Virgo. It looks like this is somebody you're supposed to move past because this person is carrying these swords, seven of swords. Somebody here is trying to use you as a resource by falling in love with you. This, this energy is coming out in, in different ways. You need to stay away from this person. Somebody thinks that they could try you and you're easy like that. This won't be for everybody, but somebody thinks that you're easy. Okay, or somebody may, might, may uh, promise that you will meet their family as long as, um, as long as they get with, like, no, we're not doing bargain for bargain or stipulations here. No, I'm big. It's either you want it or you don't. And if it's not, then stop wasting my time. Get out my face. <laughs> like, what? Hell no. Nah. Okay, we have the numbers five and nine. An eight, eight, five, nine. Somebody could be seeing 8.59 a.m. or p.m. on the clock as well. But just be careful, man. The same person that claims they love you, they care about you, they want to see where things go. They they using that as a resource to make sure you're in this five of centicles, five of centicles, five of pentacles energy. Okay. They want you to be scraping around for, for change, pocket change. That you won't be able to use as a resource to make sure you're being uh, taken care of. But we're sending that and returning it back to sender. We're returning it to the sender here. Okay. And a king of pentacles is the one you need to look out for as well. There's a, there's a bunch of people that are being recruited to go up against somebody that carries a lot of spiritual and physical strength. This is why you're being tried in these certain ways here. Okay, somebody thinks that they could try you and be reckless. Look, seven of swords, the hermit, okay? Somebody wants you to be in a situation where your back is against the wall, that you have to do something out of desperation that turns out to be this, this eight of wands, five of pentacles, but you're actually the nine of cups. You're somebody that can work on your own if you need to, 
but you could also work together with people, but you'd rather work by yourself because you know how people are over time. Okay, I can even attest to that. I'd rather work by myself, but yes, do I have um, team work ethic? Yes, but I'd rather work by my damn self because people change and they switch up too much. And the switch up is not even to say that it's a positive thing. It be negative as fuck. And it's like, damn, I'd rather be by myself, even though it'll take me a while to get it done. I know that if I get it done, I won't have somebody that's trying to tiptoe around me just to see that I fall. And they're laughing while I'm falling. I choose you. Somebody is ready to choose you here. Mutual acquaintance. Somebody here that you know mutually between you and another person. Number 60 here. Let's see. Be careful to whom people are saying that they choose you. Because you are the plug. Remember that. Somebody that may be a Jezebel wants to switch over to being a person of, of good reputation. Somebody here wants to turn it around. I don't know. Somebody could be using scare tactics on a person that may not want to uh, be known for their bad reputation. Okay. Somebody is scared or afraid of their own spiritual nature or um, crossing over to not be a spiritual hater or whatever this is here. There is somebody that could have been once upon a time, a boss daddy, somebody that was stable that now is losing everything because of their selfishness. Somebody here that's a masculine could be an Aries, an earth sign or an air sign. Okay, somebody here is losing everything because they were selfish. They wanted everything their own way. They used arrogance to get what they wanted. Now they're being rejected. Okay, I see reckless love or sex here. So be careful. I'm telling you, this is coming out in different cards, but the same message. Somebody is trying to use reckless love or sex just to make it seem like they're not wasting your time or that you have a way out. They're not, they're not trying to keep you nowhere. There's no, there's no, um, there's no contract. This is the same person that was crying over you. Tell me more. Somebody could be begging and pleading for you to be with them, or this is you doing this for this person. I feel like somebody's not running from whatever this is or what they may have overcame. Somebody's not doing something out of taking care of themselves or loving themselves. Somebody is trying to get something for proof. Okay, but they can't find it. Somebody can't find some type of proof that they're looking for anyways. <laughs> Dumbass. Anyway. Virgo, that's what I have here for my current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay blessed. And I will see you guys in the next one.